Hello, my name is Mary Ashcraft. Welcome to my floss tube. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new, hello. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Mary Ashcraft where I share some of my stitching. Um, this is my floss tube channel where I talk about cross stitching and anything else that I feel like. Um, we have a little bit of a different setup today. I thought I would switch it up, keep you on your toes. And this is our gingerbread village. Um, normally I have my stuff, my iPad up here to film. And so um, the contraption that I had to put together to do this is on another level. Um, so we have Christmas here. You can see the other Christmas stuff that you would have seen last week in the mirror behind me. Um, I just got a shipping notification that our Christmas tree is coming. So I ordered from King of Christmas a flocked tree. This is my first flocked tree. I've always stayed away from them because of the mess they make, um, but I've heard that King of Christmas tr flocked trees are really good and they aren't as messy as most, so that's what I'm hoping for because I got a three-year-old and a six-month-old who are just going to go crazy over it. Um, this, I normally start with a life update. This has been quite the week. Um, I'm just very exhausted. And so like some weeks and some days, I usually get about two hours of stitching in um, after the kids go to bed. But because I've been so tired, I'm going to bed uncharacteristically early at around like 10 o'clock. So um, I've only gotten about an hour of stitching in on some days and um, you know, it's okay. You know, what are you gonna do? So I don't have a ton to show you. I have not started on part four of Hello Dear that came out on Monday. Um, it is the, the deer and a little bit of the bottom. So um, the deer is super cute, very cartoony. Um, not really what I was expecting the deer to look like, but it's still like it works. Um, and then part five, which comes out the Monday after Thanksgiving, I believe, or no, the week of Thanksgiving. I think it's the week of Thanksgiving. Um, that'll be the last part. And so I should have this done by the beginning of December, which is great. Plenty of time to fully finish it. Um, so I haven't started on part four yet. I have worked on my Paul Hollywood project. So this is the Sugar is Sweet Sampler by the Frosted Pumpkins. Um, it is called the Paul Hollywood Project because this alphabet is getting replaced with a quote that says, you deserve a Paul Hollywood handshake. Um, it is, I'm making it for my best friend. She's the one who, she saw that quote and she's like, could you stitch this for me? And I was like, I'll do you one better let's make it cute. So um, the other thing that's different is um, the colors. She is not a big pink person uh, like myself, so her favorite color is teal. So I changed everything to be teal, blues, and greens. Um, so that's what it looks like. I am keeping this in my Doctor Who project bag from Little Yellow House Crafts which is um, Nell on Floss Tube. She is the one who makes these and sells them in her Facebook group. Um, and I really like them, they're really nice. So, this is where we're at. So as you can see, I've got most of this bottom done. I think I just have to fill in the pie, the top, like the strawberries on the pie, the straw, like the actual strawberry for the chocolate covered strawberries. And then I think there's a heart. Yes, there's a heart and then there's a couple little like doodads, you know, at the bottom. Oh, and then I have to do the top of the cake. So that's what we got. Um, the popsicles, I, I think that's the most recent thing that I did because I was very um, unsure of what I wanted to do. On the pattern they're just red just red popsicles and I was like I don't want to do a red popsicle because that's really going to stand out like in a bad way um, but I didn't like any of the other conversion colors that I had picked as a solid popsicle 
um, I felt like it just didn't really go right. Like it just, it didn't look right. So I asked my best friend, um, her name's Brooke, I asked her if she liked the idea of a striped popsicle. Um, and she said she did. So I, <laughs> I went to do the stripes and I was trying to do them like diagonal stripes. And um, I just did one row of each color. And then when I got done, I realized this doesn't look like stripes. <laughs> it looks like gingham or plaid. So you can see it. But I asked my husband and I was like, does this look funky? And he was like, no, I kind of like it. Um, and this lighting kind of washes it out. These colors are much darker in person. Um, so, but then I started thinking, well, is this the only thing I'm going to do this technique to? And I looked at the pattern and there are lollipops at the top. So we got the lollipop up there, popsicle down here. And I think I'll probably do the same thing there to these lollipops. So that way there's, you know, some cohesion. Um, so yeah, so I got quite a bit done on this because I think the last time I just had the lace, the some of the cake, and then I think some of the macarons. So I, I worked on this for a couple of days. Um, yeah, so I did a lot of work on this. Um, so there is Paul Hollywood. And oh, I also discussed with Brooke about the bow and the lettering and thinking about doing a variegated floss for one of them. Um, at first I thought the bow, but then I was like, maybe I should just do it for the wording because then it's just the work wording it really stands out and the bow can be, you know, the same thing or like the teals or whatever. So, um, at some point I have to pick out the variegated floss. So if you have any suggestions for a variegated floss, that is like teals, blues, greens. Um, that's really pretty, um, you know, from Weeks or Color and Cotton or I don't know. I don't know who else has variegated flosses. Um, then let me know so I can find a good one for this. Um, so that is from Hollywood, and I like the progress that I'm making. Not a ton of progress, but um, I I think once I get around to like doing the top part. I feel like it's going to go a little bit faster. So there's that one. And then the only other thing I've been working on, which is what I've been working on for the last couple of days, is an ornament. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. I have it. Uh, oh, I have a clip down here because if I don't, then the pages kind of like flop all over the place. So the ornament I'm doing is on the cover. It is the polar bear. It says Merry Christmas. And I'm making it for my sister. Um, my, when I told my mom was here last month, I think. Gosh, I don't even remember at this point. I think it was last month. Um, I showed her this, she was getting through all these, and I told her I wanted to do ornaments for everybody. Um, and that I was stuck on which one to do for my sister. And originally, I knew I wanted to do an animal one, so I was going off of this page. And originally, I don't know why, but the um, the whale by Amanda May, by Art of Designs, was really calling my name. But when I showed my mom, she was looking at him and she's like, I think you should do the polar bear for your sister. Um, my mom and my sister did a trip to Alaska I think I was in elementary school, so it was a long time ago. Um, and so I think she'll really like that. And now that I'm looking at that, it looks like the green is kind of like a metallic. So my original thought was to do this green in like a variegated, because it's supposed to look like the Aurora Borealis. And so um, I thought about doing a variegated floss so that it would look like the sky with the changing colors and everything like that. Um, so anyway, let me show you 
my progress. I'm doing it on navy, which it's like doing it on black. I have not stitched on black or a dark fabric in a very long time. I forgot how difficult it was. <laughs> so this is where I'm at. Um, so I've got most of the polar bear done. Um, this little thread is hanging out here because I have to move my hoop to be able to do the last couple rows of his foot. I don't really want to move it yet. So um, I just started on the shading. I am not using the called for colors. Um, I think, let's see. So I'm using white, obviously. Um, and then for the shading colors, I'm using colors that I used for my Santa um, because that Santa by Autumn Lane Stitchery, um, the beard is shaded with these colors and I thought it looked really good and I felt like it really matched. So um, it's hard to see these, sort of. But um, so this one is 06 and this one is 841. So this is kind of like a tan and this is like a light tan. And so the main color that you can see the darker one is the 841. And then you, I just barely started on the head. There's just like one row up here that is the 06. Um, and the 06 is most of the shading. It's just like the underside that has the darker one. So um, I'm making this for my sister. I am pressed for time now because we originally were going to go down to our hometown for Christmas. Um, we live in Fresno. We are originally from um, Vista, which is in North County, San Diego. Um, if you know where like Camp Pendleton is, Oceanside, Carlsbad, Vista is east of that. So um, both of our families still live down there, and uh, except for my parents who live in Arizona. And so everybody was gonna go for Christmas, but then um, everybody started saying, oh, we're not gonna go. Like my brother's not gonna go, my sister's not gonna go. Um, Brett's family's having, um, his grandpa's having health issues. And all of that, plus the pandemic, plus realizing that we have only spent one Christmas at home, even before we had kids. Like every Christmas was spent somewhere other than where we lived. I realized we don't have any traditions. We don't do the Santa thing. We don't open presents on Christmas or Christmas Eve, except for the ones we open with family. Um, my daughter gets the presents. We give her uh, a couple weeks early so that she has time to, time to play with them. Um, we stopped, like we get presents for each other, but we don't, um, open them on Christmas. We just open them earlier, early and like basically like when we get them you can have them type of thing. So it's not, we don't really get the Christmas experience and that really made me sad because for me growing up Christmas was like the best thing ever because of the traditions that we had and how special my parents made it. So I told my husband, I was like, I kind of want to stay home, you know? And he's like, oh good because I really don't want to drive six hours. And I was like, I thought I was gonna have to really work hard to convince him to stay home, but he was totally for it. So, um, but that said, my sister and her family are coming up to Fresno for Thanksgiving, and they're just coming up for like less than 24 hours. <laughs> they're gonna drive six hours just to have a meal, basically. So I have to have all of their Christmas stuff done um, so that I can send it home with them so that they can have it for Christmas. And so I need to finish this, which I should. Um, I think I could probably finish this within like, you know, a, probably like four or five more hours of stitching. Um, yeah, because all I have left is the shading and the words. Um, so I'm pressed for time to get this done and to also finish Christmas shopping for my niece and nephew. Um, so anyways, I did just go to Michael's and I was looking at their variegated flosses and that DMC has, and I picked this one out. It's like green. Um, it looks more neon on 
camera, but that's, it's not, it is like, it's not super neon. So this is 4050, 4050. Um, and so the call for DMC, oh, there is none. That it says no DMC alternative. Um, but it's, it's a metallic green. Um, and so I think, I think that would be I'll start it and if I don't like it then I'll switch it to something else um, Michaels did have a lot of DMC metallic glosses so if I don't like this I'll, I'll go back and get one of those um, yeah so that's that's that and um, I'm trying to think once I finish this one I think I'm gonna do, I was thinking about doing this Joy for my grandma, I think, my stepdad's mom. Um, but instead of doing it in blue, I just picked this up from Michaels. It is like a Christmas colored variegated gloss. It's 4520. Um, so I'm gonna try that and do the Joy in this instead. We'll see how I like that, but I just thought that would be a little bit more Christmassy and stuff. Um, I still don't know what I'm gonna do for my husband's grandma. Um, she is very big into Christmas decorating and she told me what her theme is and said she was gonna send me pictures, but she hasn't yet. So I'm kind of waiting until she does that. So I can kind of pick something that goes with, with what she does. Um, and then this, project I am keeping in my Mickey and Minnie Paris bag. Oh, I love it. My daughter is obsessed with this bag. She loves pointing out Mickey and Minnie and everybody. Um, so that's that. So you saw a couple things that I had picked out from Michaels while I was there. I also found some red and green Ada, which I was really excited about the green because I love green. So I'm gonna find some, some way to use this. Red I wasn't too sure about, but I was like, I could see stitching maybe like some snowflakes on here and maybe doing that for my mom. Um, stitching like a couple snowflake ornaments and using white or black or both um, colored flosses. She really likes buffalo check. Um, and a lot of her decor is black, white, and red. So that's what I was thinking about doing for her. This, I just love green and I just knew I would enjoy having this to be able to use it at some point. Um, it looks kind of like a Kelly green on camera, but it, it's, it's more of like a traditional dark green for Christmas. So um, I picked that out. This is the Michaels brand, Loops and Thread. It's a 14 count Ada, so I'm excited for that. Last thing, I signed up to do the Stitching Book Club Sal Stitch Along um, for a Christmas Carol. So um, this is from Instagram, um, her Instagram. So you can see the flosses, which I picked up while I was at Michael's, um, except for two. They were out of two of them, so I'll have to go somewhere else to get those. So this is the color scheme. This is the preview that she gave and I at first I was like mm, Christmas Carol but I have been in the Christmas Carol musical so many times like more times than I can count um, it was like a tradition for my mom and I um, and I think my sister was in it one year to do Christmas Carol and I still remember a lot of the music and so it just it was always a very big thing of my childhood growing up and so then I realized, you know, I've been in the musical so many times, but I've never read the book. So I was like, you know what, I'll do it. It's only $10 to sign up. Um, and I think it's like a three week long sale. They, a new part of the pattern comes out every three, three times. So once a week and, um, and then you're supposed to read the book while you stitch or at, you know, at the same time. Um, it is available as an audiobook on the library app that I use, so I'm going to do that way so that I can listen to it as I stitch. Um, but I like these colors. 
you know, they're very like, I don't know, like old school Christmas is what I'm like thinking. I'm thinking of like what Christmas probably looked like in the early 1900s or the Victorian era. Um, so this one I didn't have to buy because I already had it. This is 321. <laughs> I have like two of these. Um, it's like the perfect red. So um, I think I'm missing one green and one gold. Um, so I'm excited for this. And um, I'm excited because this is my first stitch along with this book club stitch along, book club, stitching club, whatever. <laughs> She's done other ones in the past. They just did Frankenstein for Halloween. She's done Secret Garden and what were some of the other ones I saw? She's done several. So I'm hoping, you know, as time goes on, it gets more popular. She does some more, um, you know, stitch alongs. It's the, the premise is doing stitch alongs based on uh, classic literature. Um, so, you know, Secret Garden, Frankenstein, A Christmas Carol. Doesn't get more classic than some of those. So, um, I'm hoping maybe one day she'll do a great Gatsby because that's my favorite. So um, I'm very excited for this. This starts December 5th. That's right, December 5th. So I'm excited for that. Um, so, and then my other stitch along that I will be doing that's a year long stitch along, which is the Frosted Pumpkins Christmas Wreath. That starts, I believe, the Friday before. The Friday before Thanksgiving. Um, I think it's next Friday. I don't know. But it starts sometime this month. So at some point I will start that. Um, so yeah, I got quite a bit going on, but also quite not a bit going on. <laughs> um, oh, who was it? Oh gosh, what's her name? The Colorado Stitcher. Is that what her name is on YouTube? I'll link her down below. I love her channel. She only has a few videos out. Um, she's like me, she's just started floss tube, but she's, she's so fascinating. And she used to be a model stitcher for the Cr Cricut collection, like a long time ago. I think she said in like the eighties and nineties. So her work is just beautiful. But she, um, she talked about how since she started doing floss tube, she feels like she has to just constantly be doing new projects or have a lot of different whips going at one time. And I realized I kind of had the same, I was getting into the same pattern where I was like, okay, I need to work on this. Now I need to work on this. Now I need to work on this. And I was like, no, let me just take my time with some of these, um, especially these ornaments that I got to get done. But like, you know, let's take our time. We don't have to have a million whips going, although I'm sure a ton of you do. Um, I, I do too. I have some whips that I talked about in the first and second video that I haven't even touched since. Um, and... So it was just interesting hearing her talk about how she feels like she has to have all these whips going at one time um, when she used to not before, before she used to maybe have one or two projects going at one time. And I kind of feel like I've fallen into the same trap, if you will. Um, so I, I'm going to try to not start so many um, without finishing them. Um, but working on Hello Dear, working on Paul Hollywood, soon I'll be starting the Christmas wreath, Sal, and then um, Christmas Carol, plus doing, you know, some ornaments sprinkled in there. So it sounds like a lot. I'm hoping it's not a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's everything. Um, not, not, okay. I always think that it's not going to be a long video because I'm like, I don't have that much to update you on. I only been stitching a week so you're only seeing a week's worth of stitching yet here I am pushing 25 minutes sorry so um yeah let me know what you're working on um and if you have any stitch alongs that you're doing if you are going to be participating in any of the ones that I have coming up the Christmas wreath or um the Christmas carol a Christmas Carol. Um, also, if you like Frosted Pumpkins, they are having a sale, and I think it's this week. Um, I think it's tomorrow, and it's like for 24 hours, all of their digital patterns are going to be 30% off. They only do one sale a year, and this is it. They also apparently do a Black Friday sale for all of their needle minders, which their needle minders are my favorite. Um, that's that. 
Um, so if you like Frosted Pumpkins and you want some of their patterns, do go do their sale. And I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow, Friday, the November 13th. Oh, yes, now that i am said that date, that's what it is. It's November 13th through 14th. So I think it's like 24 to 48 hours, 30% off all of their, their PDF patterns. Um, that's a really good deal for, for, you know, patterns that don't normally go on sale. Um, and then keep in mind that they'll have their needle minder sale um, for Black Friday. So just a little something. Um, if you have been doing cross stitch long enough that you would have done Black Friday shopping for patterns, let me know if places do sales. I'm kind of, I have some patterns that I have in mind that I would like to buy, um, but I've kind of been putting them off, um, purchasing them from like Fat Quarter Shop or 123 Stitch or something, thinking maybe they'll do like a Black Friday deal, like a Cyber Monday deal, but I'm not sure. So if you know anything about that, let me know. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got for you today. Um, and I will see you next week and it won't be Thanksgiving because I probably won't do one for Thanksgiving. Um, so next week I'll have a video and then I'll probably have two weeks in between. So, all right. I'll see you next time. Bye.